coming up on the next episode. Oh, good afternoon, YouTube. It is Friday. It is 1.44 in the afternoon. Um, as you can see, I have the um, new panel just sitting here. I've got the, uh, there's a pick sitting there holding it up in place. And that's exactly where it's got to go. Uh, I did the nibbling yesterday. I nibbled all this out. This is uh, was a large undertaking to do. But... You know, I did it, and, uh, you know, it just, it worked out really nice. I mean, you know, there's a couple spots. I don't know if you can tell, because I've colored them black. I'm going to make sure I get them out. That spot up here is too close to the, uh, uh, it's just too close. I, I can't, it, it, the scope won't go in there like that. Uh, up here, same thing. Now, this one will go in, uh, the uh, meter. It goes in, but it's it's a little tight there. So, also one down here, and uh, the thing I did forget is these two here. You can see there's, if you look underneath them, there's uh, metal there, and that I think I'm gonna just cut out like this around through here, and I've got a mark on the panel. I'll show you that. Let me take this off and I'll show you what I've got. Uh, as you can see, I, I left a, a one. Uh, trail down through here and there is a hole there to attach the uh, panel to the middle and that works out really good but yeah you can see here I've got this out here I'm going to take all that out um, this goes down to here uh, goes out like this and once that's all taken out then I think it will fit you can see my mark for the meter there and this is for the scope itself I think the rest of it is is good uh, I, I checked as much best I could on side to side with the scope and it fits all right this fits down here the uh, tester and uh, I you probably didn't notice it but I also took a lot out over on this side let me get you a better picture of that uh, better better uh, more out on the uh, meter and now the meter just fits in I can leave it uh, attached to the plastic in fact it's attached to the plastic right now and let's see if I've got it here real quick. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This will just go in like that and will attach to the screws. And that's how that's going to work. It just uh, fits in perfectly. And uh, so like I said, that's, that's going to work out really nice. Uh, you know, when this is screwed in and that's screwed in. And I think that'll, that'll, that'll do me fine. So that's what that's going to look like. And uh, yeah, I've been I've been working pretty hard on it. Uh, this nibbling thing took took a lot. Uh, obviously, it's a pretty big area here, and uh, this is smaller, but it still takes about the same amount of nibbling because you still got to go uh, four sides and you know all that stuff. So anyway, that's uh, how that's going to look or looking so far. I just wanted to do a real quick update, and then all this is going to be put together. Uh, and you'll see the final results uh, for the Monday video, I hope. I did get the um, um, scope, or the scope, I keep wanting to call it a scope, the BNC connector off right from there. You can see that I've got the three holes there that it was it was sitting on, the two ground holes and the signal hole here. And so that's how I will hook it back up. I'll hook it the ground up here and the signal here and run the coax to that. And that's where our course our what do you call it will be on the front here somewhere bnc connector so we'll have that there and uh, that'll work out really good i do believe so that's where i'm at what i'm doing next thing uh, next step for me is to get this all uh, nibbled out here on this side and this little bit extra here and here and once i get that done then we will probably or i'll probably go ahead and put it uh, together again I've had it apart, I don't know, or together and apart, I don't know how many different times, but uh, uh, I have you have to do that to get this the way you need it. And uh, the black part of it, the uh, plastic part that I printed, is working out really well. The uh, thing for the uh, frequency counter down here is going to need a little bit of nibbling on it uh, to get it to where it needs to be, and it also needs the uh, holes for the uh, four holes for the uh, screws to hold it in. 
Uh, you can see them here. One, two, three, four. And that will that will be need to be uh, put into the plastic. And like I said, I want it big enough to where it will go down alongside here. And uh, that's why I planned on doing it. But uh, the plastic, when you print it, it, it doesn't come out exactly as as you have print or has you have the dimensions you have. In other words, the plastic melts a little bit and shrinks a little bit, and and so you know it's really difficult without having to print it over again. And I, I like I said, it was almost four hours to print that, and I really don't want to print it again. I'll just it's it's much easier to just take a uh, a knife or uh, even a nibbler to nibble out just a little bit, uh, and I'll I'll look at that, make sure where I get it where I want it before I uh, start cutting holes for the uh, screws to fit in, and uh, so that will work out. Also. On the uh, tester itself, uh, I'm going to make some spacers on the 3D printer, and I can't find the tester now. It went went missing. There it is. Um, I want to make some spacers for this. I want it to come up off of the board like that, to where these uh, screws will allow the the board to sit flush. Because if you if you see, there's a uh, uh, thing here that's not going to allow it to be flush. I need it to be at least that high off of the uh, board for the uh, spacer for the screws. I'm not getting you in a very good picture, but you see what I'm talking about. Uh, I think this is going to work out really good like it is, and I'm happy with the way it looks. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And uh, of course, you know, uh, that's the plan. <laughs> you know how plans are. But uh, like I say, I'll uh, let me get back to doing what I'm doing here, and uh, I'll bring you back again maybe for an update before we do the final. All right, well, as you can see, I, it is time for another update, <laughs> and it's time for me to take a break. I've just about wore myself out getting this far. Um, this is all uh, in there as far as, uh, you know, fitting, I should say. Uh, I still have a lot of work yet left to do as far as uh, getting these screws. Now, the, this screw hole down here, I don't know how you can see it, but it's gone completely because I had to nibble that out, basically, to get that uh, corner in here for the uh, uh, frequency counter. And it fits rather nicely in there now, as it is. I do have a little white spot there. I'm going to take put some marker on that, and, and so you won't notice it so bad. But uh, I had to nibble it out just a little bit, and I had probably nibbled just a little bit too much, but that's okay. It, uh, it fits good. Uh, the um, tester is just basically held on with one screw right now. There's no spacers in there yet. I haven't really done anything with it. Uh, the, uh, that's just sitting in there. It hasn't been screwed down. This hasn't been screwed down. It's just sitting there. This has been screwed down. Uh, well, uh, two screws anyway. Uh, so that's basically how it's going to actually end up looking. And this will actually look the same way as well. Uh, I'd like to get the uh, Rariac mounted, at least, and get the uh, knob on it to make it look like it's all complete. And I, I may do that yet for the uh, final uh, showing uh, of it. But like I said, this is uh, what it's looking like right now. I don't even have my center screw in there. I guess I could put that in there. That would have helped. But anyway, like I said, this is a, this is a, a good look at you know what, what I've got going and how it's going to fit. Uh, it's not going to be the uh, final version is not going to be much different than this, and uh, this will just about be it, except for of course the uh, all of the um, uh, let's see, see down here, all of the outputs down here will be down here. But other than that. Uh, that's what the layout's going to look like, and I think it looks pretty darn good. I'm very, very, very pleased with how it turned out. Um, and again, it uh, it is uh, what I wanted. It is turned out exactly like I hoped it would. And uh, like I said, it's uh, it's going to be a good one, I think. Uh, I can get to everything here that I need to get to. All the uh, function generator, the scope controls are all accessible. This, uh, of course, the button is the only thing I really need to get on the tester. Of course, the uh, uh, leads that, uh, you know, test the tester leads will fit in there. And this does close on this, and I'm not going to push it down now because if I push on it much, it'll push that out. Uh, 
but anyway, everything does work like it should. And uh, I'm very, again, very pleased with how it turned out. And um, so, you know, like I said, I, I think I deserve a little break now. <laughs> I've been working most of the morning. And, uh, well, I, now I, I said morning. It's actually 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, you, you get back here listen to the music, and you don't have the camera going, and you, you, you just kind of get in a zone, and you start working, you start nibbling, you start doing this, you start doing that. And everything comes together, and, and that's what happened. So uh, that's what I'm going to do with the rest of this. Probably I won't show you any more as far as uh, construction on this. Now, of course, and none of this is connected. Obviously, that's going to have to be done. But, you know, I, I wanted to get this all situated and get it all laid out. I know I said I was going to work on the uh, transformer and the... Um, power supply and get that ready to go but you guys know me enough by now to know that uh, if something else tickles my fancy I, I go in that direction and that's what happened uh, once I, I printed this up on the 3d printer I thought I gotta see how this is gonna look and I think it looks great I'm very very pleased with it now the meter itself like I said uh, is not uh, screwed on there's two screws one on here and here that holds it down to the uh, panel and then of course the uh, uh, wiring hooks up on the back of it as well so that's you know that's all got to be hooked up well everything's got to be hooked up all the all the uh, power leads all the uh, everything it's it's got to you know all the outputs inputs things like that's got to come down here to the bnc's or whatever uh so you know basically that's it now uh i said some some time ago i could put stuff here and i that's probably what i'm gonna do with the uh um signal tracer now the signal tracer obviously is not in here uh, the output for it will be on the end. The uh, there will be a cutout here on the speaker for the speaker, and it will be there. There will be a switch probably here. Uh, could be uh, the filament transformer here as far as the switch. And again, as I said before, I think I'm going to put the switch for the DC power supply up here. And I think everything's going to work out just fine. And uh, I'm really happy, pleased. With the way this is going, uh, I've made more progress on this in the last couple days than I have all along, I think. But uh, it's getting close enough now to where you can see what it's going to look like and how it's going to uh, function and things like that. And I uh, really, really am very happy about that. So, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am very happy. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, you know, you, you, you work on a project long enough and you think, well, you know, this thing's never going to get done. But it's really getting close now, and I'm very happy about that. And uh, I keep saying that, I understand, but I am happy. So, <laughs> uh, I have to come up with uh, alternate locations. There's obviously, uh, this one's okay here, this screw. But I'll have to come up over here maybe with a screw or something. And also over here, because I can't do that with the meter there. The meter hits the screw, and I don't want that to happen. So I'll come up with some way of doing it and get that screwed in. Uh, maybe maybe just a, a screw here, a screw here, or maybe a screw down here or something. Uh, to get, now that's just resting on that. I'm going to have to nibble that out a little bit to uh, around that screw, I think, for that. But uh, other than that, you know, there's just, there's just a few more uh, minor things that's got to be done. And uh, once I get those done, then it will be, it will, it will be working. So that's it. All right. I think uh, this is going to be uh, close to the last update. Uh, I'll probably do one more with, like I said, the transformer, uh, the Variac mounted, and the meter sitting in there, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. And I think that would be um, excellent idea, I do believe. And uh, we'll do that later. So join me then. Ah, uh, good evening, YouTube. It is 6.41 now in the evening on this Friday. I am back at the uh, bench once more. I spend a lot of time in here the last couple days. But I wanted to show you exactly... Um, uh, this is, you know, is exactly what it's going to look like. And I'm going to get you back as far as I can to give you a good, good view of it. And we'll go this way. I can without messing up something. There we go. Now there you go. That's what it's going to be looking like. Um, that's everything on there. Uh, I say everything. That's all the equipment. DMM, tester, scope, 
AC meter, uh, function generator, and the uh, frequency counter. Of course, the DC power supply. Uh, that's what it's going to look like. And uh, I, <laughs> I said I was pleased before, but this is even better. Uh, I got to I got to tell you, this is this is this is awesome. I'm really really liking this. Um, I'm happy I did this. Uh, I had my doubts for a long time. <laughs> you know what it is. It's just like I'll never get this working. But yeah, it it, it will come to fruition now for sure. Um, again, I don't have everything screwed in. I got two screws holding the uh, DMM plate in. I got two screws holding the uh, what do you call it in? It's nothing's tight. Uh, the frequency counter is in correctly. The function generator is correctly. The uh, meter is just sitting in there, as is the uh, DZ power supply. Um, the meters are just that's the way they're going to look because that's the way they fit. But uh, that they're in there also, and uh, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to bring you over this way a little bit, get you a little straight on type view of it if you can, if I can. And get you up there like that. That's a pretty good close indication of how it's going to look. And that's, uh, I think it'll work, work out really nice. Um, obviously uh, the signal tracer is not in yet. And Don's little tester, I haven't got I haven't gotten nowhere with that yet because I've been busy on this, but um, I think it's been worth the time and effort I put into it to find out exactly what this is going to look like and how it's going to work out. Um, that's one of the biggest obstacles you face when you do something like this, is is all this going to fit? Is all this going to work the way I want it to work? You know, and I think the answer is yes, it looks like it will. Uh, obviously, there are probably a few bugs to work out yet, uh, hooking this all up and uh, really, that's pretty much all there is left to do, uh, because this stuff is 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 where it's going to go, and I still haven't made my little spacers for the uh, tester. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to use this tester or the new one coming in. I uh, haven't decided that yet. I may take a look at that when it comes in and decide then, but uh, either way, it's exactly the same layout as this one, so it shouldn't really matter anyway, so... Like I said, I do want to make those spacers, though, because I want that to be in there as solid as possible. And also, uh, you're nice and nice and equal. Uh, you know what I mean? So the button works, the zip, so zip, zip socket works, and all that stuff. So, and uh, like I said, I do have my uh, connectors to put in, my uh, little clip leads, or whatever you call them, hook leads, to go in for the component testing and uh, stuff like that. And again... I have to hook everything up. I, I still have the battery connector because, like I said, I don't know whether I'm using this one or the other one. So I, I was hesitant about cutting the battery uh, holder off. And uh, I'll wait until I get the other one. Now, it obviously it hasn't been painted yet. It's got to be painted. Uh, I think I'm going to take and paint the plastic the same color uh, to make them match. And uh, I think that'll be a good idea. I really do. And, uh, like I said, the rest of it is pretty much it. And uh, I'll have my... Uh, two jacks, my plus and minus jack here for the uh, power supply. Fuse probably in the middle. It's one of those twist end type fuses where it would be easy to change. Um, so that's, that'll be going there. Switch, as I said, will be up here. Uh, probably. Uh, not not a, a certain thing, but probably. Um, frequency counter um, BNC probably here. Uh, it's uh, now I don't know about a switch the um, uh, I, the power is going to be on all the time on that and I really don't really I don't know I'm not sure if I want that uh, I might try to put a switch in here as well but uh, that's at least one or two things there switch for the function generator will can can go down here also um, and the outputs for it will go here uh, Maybe a switch here. I'm not certain yet for sure, but that would be for the, and there will be uh, two uh, filament transformer outputs here. And uh, the tester is self-contained. Don't have to worry about it. Um, the scope, uh, it will have a BNC here. And I think this is the power switch for the scope. I'm not really sure, but I think that's it. Yeah, I may be wrong about that. I'll have to look at the uh, documentation with it. Uh, 
like I say, that's pretty much it for that uh, as far as all the connectors. Um, there will be on this end probably my the Don's tester outputs for it and the uh, signal tracer BNC or whatever I use for it for to hook up the probe and that's pretty much it. Again the uh, signal tracer speaker will go over here and uh, I still haven't got that decided yet on how I'm doing that. I'll go up a little bit and see how this looks from up above. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it looks pretty good. There's a lot of glare from the lights, but other than that, I, I it doesn't really show up. It shows worse on the camera than it does on my, in person. Uh, I don't think there'll be any problem with that at all. So, I was worried a little bit about seeing the uh, displays here, but I think I can see them just fine. Probably, if anything, it'd be the uh, DMN, but it's backlit, so I shouldn't have a problem with it. Uh, the meters are LEDs, so they shouldn't have a problem. Uh, the little uh, AC meter, it's uh, kind of obscured by the uh, nut drivers, but I I don't think it's enough to bother anything. And I can always go up another notch with those if I need to on the pegboard. Uh, like I said, I don't think I'm going to, though, because I think it's just fine. I can see the needle, and that's all you really need to see on the alignment is uh, whether it goes up or down and uh, stuff like that. So you really don't need to see the numbers or anything like that. You just need to know if it's going up or down. Controls here are easy to get to for the function generator. And uh, so that, that'll be good. And everything is, like I say, I'm, I'm back away from the bench a little bit because of the camera. But um, actually when I'm up here but on the bench, it, it, everything is in, uh, you know, I have to make my arms straight. It's just, it's perfect absolutely perfect I am so thrilled with this I can't words can't say how thrilled I am with this um, now here my problem is to do I want to wait until Monday to put this up or not uh, that's kind of a thing I'm, I'll probably put this all together this evening see how I feel about it and then uh, if I decide to I may go ahead and put, post it tomorrow I don't know we'll see but I'm really excited about this, and, and I, I think you can understand why. Um, it's really all coming together now. I know everybody says that in the comments. It's really coming together. Well, it is really coming together now. So uh, This was my, uh, my goal as far as getting something done on this today. And like I said, everything fits. And that part of it's pretty much finished. And it's just a matter of hooking it all up screwing it down and I have a couple more like I said that's not been screwed down yet this is not completely screwed down these two are that one's just a matter of putting two nuts and, and the washers on and hooking it up it's nothing to that that's easy so uh, and the meters are, are basically just sticking in there I don't uh, they are a little loose but they're not too bad I think they'll probably they'll probably ride there pretty good and I'm not going to worry about those at all uh, as long as they work main thing there of course I can get to the controls and switch that and again it's perfect uh, you know even I'm thinking more more and more now instead of putting it with that switch way up there I'm thinking about putting it down here I've got room to do it here down here and uh, it'd be handier here than it would be up there I think uh, I'll just have to think about it it's that uh, it's those switches that Walla gave me you guys remember uh, the old rocker switches that Walla gave me uh, he gave me a bunch of those and that, that's what I'm gonna use for the power on this is uh, because I like it because they've got the little red side where I mean all this one's going to be have an indication of it's on from the meters when when it's turned on the meters come on so I'll know it's on but even the rest of them you know you'll, you'll be able to see that red uh, that red side is uh, indicates power and the power is on when it's flipped the other way there's no red showing so I kind of like that and uh, again that's uh, that's what she looks like and I think, hey, that is decent. Really decent. Let me know in the comments what you think. Was it worth the effort? Um, am I nuts? <laughs> Again, this is quick and dirty testing. These, these are not meant to be accurate, um, be-all, end-all tests. This is just something, if I want to quick test something, and I've got all the little functions here that I can use to do, I still have to uh, think about adding the uh, uh, modulation 
to this. Uh, I'm really thinking about that, but then with the tester, I'm not sure if I really need to. Like I said, it, it's a different situation. I understand that, but uh, so having that with, with modulation would probably be handy too. So we'll see. Uh, I haven't totally decided on that. I just wanted to get this part of it done so that I can have something to show you guys that I did do some work. <laughs> and man, did I ever do a lot of nibbling. I probably got more nibbles on the uh, bench than I've ever had in my life. Uh, I should say on the bench, on the floor. Uh, tried to clean the uh, bench up best I could, but of course I missed a bunch of it. Um, I don't know what happened to my brush. I have a brush here somewhere that uh, I usually sweep up the bench with. And I have not been able to find that at all. So I don't know where it went. I had to find that and get that uh, brushed off really good. Uh, like I say, you're looking at the clean end. This is the clean end right now. The other end is is cluttered with stuff I've been using to work on this. So I wanted one end cleaned off. This here is my heater uh, uh, wire cord, power cord. And uh, once the uh, heater season is over, I'll probably run that behind the uh, where it comes out here and behind the, the bench and it won't be showing or anything like that. And I have a remote remote for that thing here somewhere and I don't know where that's went to. But uh, <laughs> So, anywho, that's that. I just wanted to, wanted to share this with you guys and uh, I hope you agree that this is a, a decent, uh, decent uh, amount of progress. So, you guys have a great day. Thank you so, so much for watching and we will see ya. Mm -hmm.